Hey there friends, it's me Jenny with another t-shirt cutting tutorial. This is what the final product looks like. It was originally a giant orange t-shirt, but we made slits, some weaves, and added some beads on the bottom. First I cut off the sleeves. the bottom edge, and along the neckline. I cut a couple of extra pieces off the bottom just in case we want to use those for extra decorations somewhere. As usual, Kitty's being precious and happy to help. Then I make 10 slits down either side. Then I cut off the extra material from the bottom up to the bottom slit on the side. I cut slits from the bottom up to about the center of the shirt. Hey, those extra strands, they double as cat toys. Alice approves. I kind of stretch out the fabric a little bit. Now we're going to add beads to the strands. This is obviously up to your own artistic expression and however you'd like it to look. So for getting the beads onto the strands, I just used a bobby pin. It may or may not have been the most effective way of doing this. I kind of had to like uh, squeeze the bobby pin together to get it through the hole of the bead. But it worked for what I was going for. And I just repeat that for every single bead. Luckily I found this old bag of beads that I had from a while back. And I just happened to have a ton of yellow and orange ones, so... <laughs> they match this shirt. I just uh, alternated between orange and yellow beads on either strand. After adding your bead, just make sure that you add enough knots underneath the bead so that it won't pull off. Then on the sides here, I just stretch out the material a little bit before we do a little weaving action. This you'll see, I, I just take the third strand, pull it through the second one, and weave it all the way down to the bottom. At the bottom, I cut the second to last strand in half. and then I tie the loose ends on the edge of the bottom one. Same thing on the other side. I just take the third strand, pull it through the second one, and weave it all the way down to the bottom. 
cut the second to last string in half and tie it at the corners of the last string. Here I just finished adding all those crazy beads, which took quite a while, but <laughs> I think they look pretty cute, so I mean, if you're willing to put in the effort, you can have nice beaded shirt. I kind of just straighten out the beads here before cutting off the top edge of the sleeves. And then I make four slits down the top of the sleeves on either side. Next I straighten them out and tie the ends of either strand together. And on a couple of these I wind up adding some beads as well. I then fold the shirt in half and I cut off a little V where the neck is. Then I make some slits down the front where the chest is. Oftentimes throughout the process of creating a DIY shirt, I see that it would look great left as is. But in this particular case, we add some extra decoration on the neck. And uh, sorry it was really hard to do with my left hand, so you guys can't really see um, exactly what I'm doing here very well, but I weave down the front of the chest. When I get to the second to last strand, I cut it in half and then tie it around the last tiniest one. Right here, sorry you can't see very well what I'm doing because I need to get the perfect camera angle for this. Um, I take the very top strand, which is a little bit bigger than the rest, and make a loop with it just by twisting it once and then I pull the next strand through it and I do an alternation between pulling the strand through and then pulling the strand through and looping it. This type of weaving, it can get really cool and complex looking. With enough practice, this effect will look really cool. But I'm no stranger to messing up shirts, and uh, I always recommend using some shirts that you're not super attached to the first few times. At the end of this one, I use the same string that I tied to secure the second row of weave. I contemplate adding some more weaving to the sides, the back, or maybe adding some more beads, but I'm pretty satisfied with the way it looks right now. I hope you loved watching this DIY tutorial, friends. I've got quite the collection on my channel now of tutorials or just showcase of the different shirts that I've done, and I sure love to compile other tutorials that I found inspiring. In addition to this YouTube channel, I have my main Jenny Nexus channel, my gaming channel, Jenny Nexus Plays Games. And I have a Pinterest with a ton of cool crafty makeup and hair ideas. I hope to see you again in the future. If you make a shirt that you feel like sharing, feel free to tag me in your post on Instagram, Twitter, or share the link in the comments section below as a video. Bye friends!